the uh, Chinese moon program has really made great strides with the first landing on the far side of the moon with Chang'e 4. Now to actually land on the, on the near side and return a capsule to Earth for the first time in, in, in basically 44 years since uh, the Soviets did it in 1976 is, a, is another proof of uh, evolving capabilities and an exciting time for lunar science. Yeah, you mentioned in there the Soviets did it in 1976. The US has also done it. So what are, what are we going to learn different this time around? Surely moon rocks are just moon rocks. They don't really change. Ah, uh, uh, well, as a geologist, I have to correct you on that one. Um, <laughs> the the, the is issue we have, the uh, US returned 382 kilograms of uh, moon rocks with the six Apollo missions. Um, and uh, they showed that uh, the volcanism, for example, uh, was you know, was about 3.1 to 3.8 billion years old. These moon rocks that they're where they're going to land are on supposedly younger lava flows that we have no sample of. And the moon is a little body that should have uh, its heat engine should have died out a long time ago, and it hasn't. So it re remains an enigma. So th these are new samples from a new period of time in moon's history that we just don't have any record of in in the sample collection. So the these are really new samples. Now, part of the intrigue when we look at space missions is the fact that th there's no certainty that things will go right. What sort of issues could this mission run into? Well, there's uh, yeah, catastrophic ones such as uh, failure to land and failure to relaunch. Um, there's also a failure to rendezvous with the, with the orbiting spacecraft that's going to bring the samples home. But I think China has, has done a very stepwise approach to robotic exploration. And we see the care that they've taken in developing their systems with the Chang'e 3 rover not roving that far, but the Chang'e 4 rover being able to still going strong today on the far side of the moon. So the evolving capability is if they don't get it right this time, I'm sure they'll get it right next time as, uh, as another sample return is, is set to go after this one. And what would you be willing to do to get your hands on some of those rocks? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see now. I have to be careful as I'm under the, the, the Wolf Amendment in the US. I would be willing to cooperate in any way I can to help the science come out of these samples. Let's put it that way. Um, I, think, uh, I think we have an opportunity here for uh, uh, collaboration around the world of lunar scientists to, uh, to actually maximize the science return from these samples. And, and uh, my Chinese friends and colleagues uh, who are involved with this, I wish them all the very best of luck and, uh, and also that uh, all the very best of the science that will come out of this.